You can ask me, Amea. I can speak. Oh, <laughs> Are you doing all right? Are you good? Well, what is the first time here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you know about speaking Skonda? Yeah. I've heard of it, yes. Uh, where are you from, guys? Romania. Romania. Okay, that's good, good. Do you know Andrew Tate? Yeah, I know of him. Okay. <laughs> He's in Romania. He's arrested, right? Yeah, he's arrested, man. What do you think about him? Sorry? What do you think about him? I don't really know much. I don't know much, yeah. Don't know much about him. Yeah, because... Tate, yeah. yeah, you know Andrew Tate? What do you think about him? So, but overall, I feel like he's very, like, he's, yeah. No, no, well, look, as, he's a Muslim now, he became Muslim, right. you know, there. Yeah. And me, myself, I openly, he's my brother, I love him as a brother, right. but as a Muslim, if a Muslim makes mistakes or says something wrong, we have to correct him openly. Yeah. Because we love the truth more than anything else. So do you believe that he's made mistakes? No doubt, himself admitted, you know. Okay. For example, one of the things he said that I don't agree with, He's my brother now, I pray to Allah to help him. Yeah. I believe he's been oppressed now, yeah? He said about it's okay for a woman, it's okay for a man to sleep around, but a woman is not okay. But Islamically, that's wrong. Islamically, it's both uh, 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 to be virgin, it's something which is recommended for a man, woman, understand? It's something which is praiseworthy for a man, woman, understand? However, because you have to understand where he's coming from. He's, remember, he was an atheist. Right. Yeah, he was an atheist. Even there's a video, he was claiming that ISIS are implementing the true Islam because he was ignorant. He was that. Yeah, he said that a long time ago. Yeah. Then when he read about Islam, not he a good Muslim. Huh? Not a good Muslim. No, no, that's before Islam. Before, before, be, before. Way before. He he said that when he was atheist. Yeah. yeah. When he started mixing with the Muslims and learning, he openly uh, apologized and he said he was wrong. You understand? But you have to understand also where it's coming from. It's coming from in a time in the Western world, especially the Western world. Feminism movement. Okay, what happened in the Western world? Women were oppressed. Yeah, in the beginning, women were oppressed. Like the, the, there was a time when a man sold his wife in the market. Yeah, in Britain. Yeah? You know, he sold her. That's his wife. So what happened when the women start fighting for their rights? They were fighting for the, 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 the legit uh, rights, no doubt. However, because when you don't have no guideline from the creator, from the human nature, you like to transgress. So they went to extreme. Now, the, uh, the, there's a reaction of that as well. The reaction is a red pill movement. A man who comes and said, no, women try to speak bad about women, making women like nothing. No, Islam comes in, man has his place, woman her place. You know, man is something which is, in the, in the sight of Allah, man, women are equal. In the sight of Allah. But biologically, in, uh, socially, certain things women can do, men cannot do. We have different roles. No doubt about that. No. And that's how our society can function. Right. Now you understand. Like, you know, especially Islam, pay great attention to family. It's very important family. You understand? Because, you know, when you have a mother and a father working together, father doing his role, mother doing her role, you have a healthy children. You understand? No doubt about it, you know? So he, what he said is true. But because, you know, certain things he said, which is wrong, I don't agree with. But generally speaking, you know, some people, you know what he said? He said many people took some of his videos out of context, you know? But, uh, but certain things, no doubt, it was not out of context, it was wrong. Yeah, it was wrong. He's a human being, I'm a human being, I make mistakes. You know, that's what we have to understand, you know? But, uh, you know, you know uh, the things he speaks about, why he became Muslim? Because he noticed Islam came with the things which if, as human beings, we follow it, we will have a good society. Which is, we call it, in Arabic, we call it daruriyat. Daruriyat in English means the five universal necessities. Okay, now I'll break it down for you. Okay, the first one, Islam came to preserve religion. Islam, Islam came to preserve religion. Religion, religion. Religion? Yeah, religion, yeah, yeah. What does that mean? In Islam, worshiping the true God, okay, is very important. That's why paganism, polytheism, atheism is forbidden Islam. Because when you don't worship the true God, you start, we start following our own desires. And the outcome of following our own desires, I will, demonst I will demonstrate to you what is the outcome of that. Could I, could I comment on that? Yeah, but can you let me finish the point then? Because I completely agree with you. Okay. I think even yeah. more than that, um, 
when we focus on power or pleasure or honor, um, we start to worship um, power or pleasure. Or Ourselves. Honor, but we can never get enough of those. Yeah. And so we want more, more pleasure and more pleasure. And we can become arrogant. And we, and we, we become addicted. Right, That's, to true. Pleasure That's, true. So on, so. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's why I'm gonna break it down here for you, so it's clear. Yeah. Let's watch this. Yeah. So. It's, that's what it's, that's the first one, yeah? yeah. Second one, Islam came to preserve intellect. What does that mean? That's why alcohol and drugs is forbidden. You know. Right. Thirdly, Islam came to preserve wealth. Yes, wealth. That's why interest and gambling is forbidden. Yeah, no worries. That's why interest and gambling is forbidden. Fourthly, Islam came to preserve marriage, family. That's why fornication, adultery is forbidden. Lastly, Islam came to preserve life. That's why committing suicide, eating something harmful, killing yourself, you know, killing people unjustly is forbidden. These five things, if we preserve it, and in Islam, not just preserving it, Islam, there is a barriers, there is a, a punishment against those who break these necessities. So what is the opposite of that? Alcohol. Alcohol destroys us individually and collectively. Yeah? Gambling. Gambling destroy us individually and collectively. Interest, interest destroy us individually, collectively. Interest, what it does, make the rich richer and the poor poorer. Oh, you mean the interest, interest. Uh, when you borrow money? That's and it, pay. that's okay. it. For example, I know you don't have money. You come to borrow money from me and I, I study you. Yeah. I know I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you 5,000 pounds. Yeah. I know by two weeks, it's impossible to give me back 5,000. So I said to you, I'm gonna give it to you you have to give me back in two weeks 6,000. I know two weeks you're not going to do it. So after two weeks, I put more money on you. So what I'm doing, I'm enslaving you and I'm utilizing your needs to enslave you and manipulate you. Yes. In Islam, that is forbidden. Islam teaches us about brotherhood, sisterhood. That if you, uh, uh, there's even narration Prophet Muhammad told us that Allah on day of judgment will say to a person, I was hungry and he did not feed me. So the person will say, oh Allah, you are self-sufficient. How am I going to feed you? He said, my servant was in need and you don't want to feed him. You see? So that's why in Islam, if someone is in need, don't utilize his need to manipulate him. So interest. Likewise, fornication, adultery. Fornication, that's abortions. That's, a, that's why there's a lot of abortions. How do you feel about abortion? Okay, Islamically, abortion is forbidden. But there is exceptions. Okay. Of course, if a woman been raped, then the scholars of Islam said, she's allowed to have abortion yeah yeah however some scholars said because islamically we believe the soul uh, uh the, the angel blow the soul into the to the baby yeah. in uh, four months so some scholars before four months is allowed yes even not, it's not for example a woman she got married then she had four children, her husband left her, she's going through depression and that she has, she's pregnant now, she can't do it anymore, it's causing her. Then Islam comes in, because in Islam we have something called la wa la dirar, which is a, one of the principles that Islam is based upon, which is don't harm yourself and don't harm others. You see, don't harm yourself and don't harm others. So to continue with, Oh, nice reflection, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <Good> so, <laughs> good reflect. Yeah. So, 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 Islam, like, just to make something clear to you, no doubt, these vices I have mentioned, alcohol, drugs, interest, some people out there benefit from it, no doubt. But who are they? Majority of times, those who are in power. That's why majority of times, those who are very hostile to Islam, either are ignorant or those who are in power, because why? They're utilizing these vices to make money out of us, even though they know that it's bad for us. You know? So the question I will ask you, how men that lived, that's what you have to learn, how men that lived 1,400 years ago, Prophet Muhammad, who couldn't read and write, he came with a perfect legislation, yeah. which is a perfect for us as mankind. Yeah. But on the other hand, we have these politicians who studied in the best universities around the world, yet they cannot resolve the problems you are facing because Muhammad is a messenger of the Most High. Alayhi So the creator of everything, he knows what is good for us in details, what is bad for us in details. As human beings, when we start legislating something, we have evil desires, we have bias. Yeah. To give you an example, alcohol is allowed. It's allowed alcohol. Drugs is not allowed. It's okay. Drugs is not allowed, yeah? Literally, literally, I can be selling, I can be next to a shop of license. The person who sends alcohol, there's no problem with him. 
me selling drugs outside the shop, I will get arrested. But guess what? Alcohol caused more harm. Yeah. Alcohol, many, many crimes been carried out by people because they were influenced by alcohol, yeah? So why alcohol is allowed, but drugs not allowed? Why? I would presume that alcohol in small quantities would be less harmful than drugs would be in small quantities. No, the scientists agreed that even a small amount of alcohol is harmful. Do you know why? Because, yeah. I'm a diet. I'm going to be a dietitian. You're going to be, yeah? Okay. I mean, I'm a She's master's studying student. a dietitian. Okay. But um, so I believe... small quantities of red wine, that's why they say that one glass of red wine a day keeps the doctor away, and the doctors recommend red wine. That's true in small quantities. It's 125 milliliters of red wine. It's good for the heart. It lowers bad cholesterol and improves good cholesterol. That, That's the science. That, the paper. I'll show you scientists uh, what they say. Uh, there, there's not another paper to rebuke that. So I'll show you scientists what they say. Yeah, I'll show, I'll show you about that. And you know what is it, yeah? Even that logically doesn't make any sense. You know why? why? It's like you giving a child or someone, just tell him, listen, I know, or for example, even some, some they say cigarette is good for one cigarette, yeah? No, 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 I'm not saying, some people say that, no doubt. Okay. But I'm saying, it's not logically speaking. Yeah. If someone get used to one cigarette, yeah. is he not more likely he will want more? Obviously, oh, I see, yeah. No yeah. doubt about that. Yeah. So in Islam, we have, that's why Islam is a perfect way of life. That's why Islam comes in, because alcohol, it, it, it get you, you know, you want more. No doubt about that. You cannot control that. That's a, a, a something which established. How would you feel about um, things like One second. very sugary things, like chocolate, for instance? You like, could have some, mm. but you always want more of it. Like Islam, I told you, there's a principle in Islam. So is uh, something very sugary allowed in Islam? No, Islam, something, remember, I told you about the five necessities. One of them, do not harm yourself. Right. So Islam, if something going to harm you, then don't take all too much. You understand? Or if you know you're going to be, it's going to lead to harm, because we have something called bab seddu dara'i, which means anything that leads to harm, yeah. you block it. So could we have that in Islam. The same logic to alcohol then. Right? To what? To alcohol, in the sense that yeah, if don't drink it in small quantities. Um, it's okay or good for you. Then, as long as you don't have too much, it seems that it would be logically consistent. No, but I, I told you, I told you, even we block it, because why? It can lead to greater harm. Yeah, so we block it. That's why. Anything intoxicant. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Sugar would do. Sugar, would do it, sugar. but in a very large quantity but over a very long period of time. But for instance, I'm, I'm you could have. Uh, yeah. And you're talking about sugar, yeah? Sorry? You're talking about sugar, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a diabetic. Yeah. And yeah. I'm actually yeah. taking first for diabetes. And I know a lot about it. I know the fact that sugar is as addictive as cocaine. Right. Yeah. The effects are the same. Mm -hmm. Right? But people don't understand this. Yeah. So, in moderation, okay, it's fine. Because the difference between the two is one is intoxicant, one isn't. But yeah. it does harm you. Right. Sugar does harm you. Right. If you take too much of it, yeah. yeah I love sugar, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Say? I'm joking. So? <laughs> I said, I love sugar. Oh, you love sugar? <laughs> no, I'm sweet enough. I don't love sugar. I'm sweet enough. Yeah. I, mean, I don't need sugar. I don't need it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You call sugar, man? No, 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 no. You call yourself sugar, man? <laughs> Watch this. A new study, a new study concludes there is no amount of alcohol consumption that is safe for over well for over over all health. You need to show me the study. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time. Yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. You already end from the study from the science, okay. but I'm just showing you a quick one. Yeah. But generally, Rogers. we agree that alcohol is not. A yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. No, that's I mean, about that. Biologically, if you if you consume 125 once. It's not going to harm you, but obviously that's not possible for somebody that, who loves alcohol. That's it. That's obviously, it. Yeah. That's it. No doubt about that. More and more and more. That's true. That's why our, our prophet said. Yeah. Our prophet said, uh, both uh, a, a lot amount or a small amount is harmful. We don't use it. Because why is it lead to? Uh, Apart from the health issue, yeah. One thing, right? Like, you need to understand is, if you basically consume alcohol, and I've known this, and you know this, what happens? Is I never consumed alcohol, by the way. They cannot remember what they did. Correct? It's intoxication. Okay, no, they can't remember what they did. Yeah. What could they have done? They could yeah, have done yeah, anything. Yeah. No, it, it definitely, could it definitely leads Who could to they like have done it with? Things. Yeah, what they could have done it yeah. with? Yeah, let's yeah. apply some logic. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 no doubt. Yeah, Forget the health for one second. Yeah. 
the intoxicant. What does that mean? It could lead to something, killing, you know, all of these things. Because they don't know what they've done. If you, they wake up, they say, oh, and what if you was ask that me, night? I think even and that's the, the mere... danger. That's the danger. And Islam identifies the danger and puts it in front. Yeah, and sometimes you can't apply logic. It's what the religion is is telling us. You know, there's many things that. No, it's not bad. It's very, very um, honest of you to say that. Yeah, it's very honest. I appreciate you uh, being so transparent. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. No, no. To be honest, the, you apply logic to this. You apply logic to everything. Logically, I'm saying there's certain things in the yeah. Quran, in our religion that yeah. you can't apply logic. To. No, you, can, you whatever, can't. Whatever Allah says. Yeah, but you, know, but you can't apply logic. I tell you, you can apply logic. Do you know why? Everything? everything. Do you know why? why? Allah, now, if you are experts, yeah. Yeah? yeah, if you do something, an expert, and I know you're expert, I know you very well, you're perfect in your job, yeah. yeah. Even though I don't understand everything, but logically, by, by logic, yeah, not biologically, but logically, yeah? Yeah, yeah, by logic, by using my sound reasoning. Even though I don't understand the details, I use their foundation. You are an expert, logic dictates if he's an expert and he's perfect in his job, so what he's doing must be right. What about the creator of everything? So if the creator, the creator of everything has knowledge, perfect knowledge, he has a perfect wisdom. Yeah. So even though we don't understand the detailed information, what we say, logic dictates, he's the creator of everything, he's perfect, therefore he must, whatever he dictates and legislates, must be perfect. So I think you understand what, what that? he's saying is that so, uh, something would be uh, not necessarily um, irrational, it's just supra-rational. So it's not contrary to reason. That's it. But it, it couldn't yeah. satisfy your reason entirely. Yes, that's right. No, 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 no. I don't know, I don't know about that, because why? What I'm saying is that you couldn't contain God with your reason, right? No, except if you work with a foundation, like I said, I always mention example. No, no, there's no exception in the sense that God is above reason, right? I think you can understand some things about him, but, not yeah. but you couldn't... Yeah. I, I just one second, yeah. One second. I agree with you. So what we have to differentiate between two things here. Yeah. About what we know about God this and is so what, fun though. Yeah. <laughs> what we don't know about God, yeah? yeah. What we know about God, like for example, if you ask me, when you say God has a perfect knowledge, what do you mean by that? Right. It's beyond my understanding. Yeah. But we understand what is a perfect knowledge, yes? We understand what is perfect knowledge means. He makes, he, ha he knows everything in details. Nothing is hidden from him. He does not forget. He has no deficiency in his knowledge. Yeah, you understand? Yeah. So, for yeah. example, when you, for example, so there are certain things we know about God, but not in, not in details. You understand? Yeah. That's why when we speak about God here, we are speaking about the things that which we can understand, yeah. we can comprehend. So that's why I always mention the example I give. Eh? The example I always I give. Imagine you have a daughter. Yeah. Yeah. She's five years old. Yeah. And you go to the GP to the doctor. The doctor gives you injection. He said, inject her. The first time you inject her, she gets scared, she's crying, everything. When you want to do another time, she gets scared. From her perspective, what you, is in your head is evil. It's harmful. It's going to make her cry. And she doesn't want it. Maybe even she thinks you're an evil person. But from your perspective, what you want for her is good. So what are you going to tell her? Oh, my daughter, the capacity of your mind does not allow you to judge my action. You understand? So that's, this, you are a human being, she's a human being. Likewise, logically speaking, we know God is the most wise, the creator of everything. So therefore, our capacity of our mind cannot understand everything that he created. However, we work with the frame, his own knowing, the all wise. Would you say that God is wise? Or would you say that God is the grounding for the category of wisdom? So, I, I would say that God it's does not, not a, a has tech, an tech. attribute yeah. of being wise. Say again, God doesn't? God's, I'm not sure God would have the attribute of being wise. He is um, wisdom. He is probably wisdom itself, and we perceive him as being wise. Uh, that would be my perspective. No, uh, uh, logically speaking now, in order to, know, to speak about God, mm. either God tells you something about him, yeah. because like we say, there's, for us to know about God, yeah. there's, of course, there's certain things we can know about God just by using our sound reasoning. Yeah. But, but there's certain things we cannot know by God except by yeah, God. By revelation. by revelation, yes. For example, just looking at this universe, I can see there is a wisdom behind this creation, yes? Yeah. So we know by, by way of revelation, God describes himself as wise. Yeah. He has a perfect wisdom, the all wise, you understand? Like, for example, they, when they say God is he, yeah, they say, why is not she? You know? Right. Yeah, yeah, but they say, I don't understand him because in Arabic no language, in yeah, they, in Arabic language, we say he to the moon. 
But the moon is not a woman or a man. Yeah, same in Romanian. Where you, um, uh, you say something similar. Genders for nouns, like trees and the sun. So, so tree, you say she or he? Uh, 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 he. We say, in, in Arabic, we say she. Okay. <laughs> we say, هذه الشجرة. I see. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's something very similar. But Allah in the Quran said clearly, there's nothing like unto him, right. and he's the all healing, the all seen. Right. So what I was gonna say to bring you back, I think I digress. But the yeah. reason I was mentioning the, the Islamic legislation, yeah. that logic dictates how man that existed 1,400 years ago, he came right. with this perfect way, way of life. Right. That is a clear-cut proof. He must be the messenger of the creator of everything. Mm. You know.